lesson time yes here we go lesson three this is a bit of a break from all the capacity craziness we did in lesson two this i think you'll find this a little easier to handle because we're doing time we'll make those same conversion tables for units of time and then use those tables to solve some problem and i'll tell you now when we get to doing that there's, there's a bunch of multiplication involved, in, including some two-digit times two-digit multiplication. And I'm not going to go through the step-by-step -step of that multiplication because, of course, that's something we did back in module whatever. Uh, so in, in this, for this, I'm just going to show how to set it up and not go through all of the calculations with you, which you'll have to do on your own then in the problem set and so on. So let's begin. Uh, with a little review of capacity here in the metric system, one liter is how many milliliters? 1,000. Okay, then five liters would be 5,000 milliliters. How about, oh, you remember quarts in a gallon? Good. Four quarts in one gallon. So that would mean that two gallons would be eight quarts. And how about three gallons? 12 quarts. All right, good. Nine. Ooh. Oh, we'll just do nine times four. Right. Okay. 36. Great. Now, how many pints in a quart? And this is where, yeah, it's two. Okay. Remember that now? It's two. Um, so one quart is two pints. And then all the conversions after that, once you have that piece of information, everything else is pretty straightforward. So two quarts would be four pints and three quarts would be six pints and seven quarts would be eight bit no i'm just kidding how 14 pints okay and how about ah cups yes how many cups were in a pint you had two cups in a pint so if there's two cups in a pint again all the conversions then become pretty straightforward two pints is four cups how about three pints six cups same as yeah same as pints to quarts right six pints would be 12 cups, just multiplying by two, that's our conversion factor. And uh, that's a happy little warm up. Now let's get into minutes to seconds. And on your practice sheet, you have these tables here. How many seconds in one minute? Yes, there are 60 seconds in one minute. And so to fill out the rest of the table, uh, one way of thinking it is using our knowledge of place value is to just skip count by sixes and, you know, moving it up the place value chart, or sometimes I express it this way, my own little way, like pop on a zero. Okay, so 6, 12, pop on a zero is 120, 180, 240, 300, 360, 420, 480, 540, and 600, okay? See, so we can see the skip counting by sixes, and of course, moved up the place value chart so there is a zero in the ones place. Um, okay, so now let's put that knowledge to use. How many seconds would be in 16 minutes? Well, you could do 60 times 16, right? But given that we have this right here, this table, well, if 10 minutes is 600 seconds, and six minutes is 360 seconds, oh, we can just put those together to get, right, number of seconds in 16 minutes. So 600 plus 360 is 960, so there are 960 seconds in 16 minutes. Looks like a tongue twister right there. All right, hours to minutes. Well, this is an interesting one because how many minutes are in an hour? It's again 60. So guess what? This table is going to look identical to the last one with seconds in a minute because it's, yeah, skip counting by 60 all the way down. Okay, so now let's put that to use and it's going to be the same thing, isn't it? How many minutes are in 18 hours? Well, we could do 60 times 18, right? And, and again, I'm not going through all the ins and outs of the multiplication here because I just want to teach you how to do these conversions and not reteaching uh, multiplication. Uh, so that turns out to be 1080. So you just multiply by the conversion factor there. Other way to do it would be, say, with this table, okay, well, 10 hours is 600 minutes, 8 hours, 480 minutes, put together 600 and 480, you get 1080 
either way. So they're 1,080 minutes in 18 hours. Isn't that crazy? It's a lot of minutes. And there was that song. Whatever. Okay. So 18 hours equals 1,080 minutes. Whole lots of minutes. Days to hours now is different because the conversion factor we know is not 60. How many hours in a day? There are 24 hours in a day. Now the skip counting gets a... Okay, the, the first few of these you should have down, like you should be able to do 24, 48, 72, because sometimes people actually use the expression, oh, well, you know, 48 hours from, a, you know, your doctor might say, well, you know, call in 72 hours if your temperature, something like that. Um, after that, you're just adding 24 each time. And again, I'm not going to go through all the, you know, facets of the addition here. So 96. Now, 5 times 24, uh, actually, you can do a different way. You can do 10 times 24 is 240. Half of 240 is 120. So, you, so, so there are other ways to think about this. Adding the 24 there, though, is pretty straightforward. 144. And again, with this one, there's, there's no regrouping to add 24. So 168. Now, this one has regrouping with the 8. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> 192. And then we have 216. And lastly, we already said 240 is 10 days. All right. So how many hours are in 14 days? Well, we'd set that up. Uh, we can do it two ways again. We have this handy dandy table. So we can say, well, 10 hours is 200, I'm sorry, 10 days rather. 10 days is 240 hours and four days is 96 hours. So I could put together 240 and 96. And by the way, I will go into this one. One way to do that is to, because 96 is so close to 100, add 100 and get 340 and then subtract the four back out. Right, so 336 hours in 14 days. You can also do it with the multiplication, 14 times 24, and you can and should and must get the same answer. All right, how about in 42 days? Ooh, well, that's something. So you're setting up 42 times 24, which again, I'm not going through all the ins and outs here, is 1,008. Uh, there are 1,008 hours in 42 days. Point being, a lesson being, multiply by the conversion factor, in this case, 24 hours per day. All right, now here we go. We're just going to do one word problem. This is going to be a pretty short lesson here. Um, Apollo 17, spacecraft. Mission was completed in 12 days, 14 hours. How many hours did the mission last? So we have 14 hours there. We don't have to do anything with that. It's already hours. Um, we'll just make sure we include it later. But uh, So we have the 12 days. Now, here's a way you could do this in your head. When you draw your tape, the whole thing is 12 days, 14 hours, right? And you notice what I did with the days here. I split the 12 days into 10 days and two days. And then we, of course, again, have the 14 hours. Because the 10 times uh, 24 is going to be easier to do than 12 times 24. Less likely to make errors. Not just easier, but less likely to make errors. Because 10 times 24 is 240. 2 times 24 is 48. Put those together, you get 288. And then, of course, so we don't want to forget the 14 hours, right? 288 plus 14 is 302 hours. Pretty straightforward, right? Much like everything else we've been doing. So you'd have your statement then. The mission lasted 302 hours. And boom, just like that, we are already onto the problem set. This one was a little bit of a breather, don't you feel? I, after uh, yesterday's mess. That was a hot mesh, all that capacity and customary system. Courtney is leaving the house at 8. She wakes up at 6 using the number line. Okay, so she's waking up at 6. She's leaving at 8. And so when you draw the, the bouncy bouncy, note that the question is how many minutes does she have? So then you, you wouldn't say two. She doesn't have two minutes to get ready. That'd be a pretty rushed morning. Some mornings are like that, but not for Courtney. She gets up plenty early. All right, and then we have six hours. Basically, how many minutes is that? Completing an abbreviated version of the table. And the way I like to write, write these rules is with hours to minutes, 
you say hours times 60 minutes per hour and then similarly here with days to hours days times 24 hours per day is how I like to write the rules and then doing just some straight up conversions here none of these are all that tricky no nah. and then you explain how you solved F um, yeah, there you go. How many seconds are in that much time? How many hours? In, and remember, weeks, you know, seven days in a week, which we didn't touch on, but you know that. All right, exit ticket is Apollo 17 again. I don't know, they're like on this space kick all of a sudden. I don't know where this came from. Um, and then when you get to the homework, you know what to do. Head over to my homework time video, and we will do every last little bit of that math in detail. Well, look at what you have done now. Oh, my goodness. You finished another lesson. Congratulations. So I will then see you next time. It is once again lesson time.